Today's topic is IVF with donor egg program or IVF with oocyte donation. So once a couple decides uh, to undergo IVF with egg donation or oocyte donation, so um, how is this donor matched by the IVF clinic? <coughs> so there are two ways of doing this. Uh, according to the current law, you can either you know select your own oocyte donor, so someone from within your family, your sister or your friend can. Uh, donate oocytes to you that's one option the other is that you if you don't have s such a person who's willing to donate oocytes to you then you will then approach an ART bank the ART bank will screen and register the oocyte donor donor for you so it's either you bring your own donor select your own donor or you approach a bank who will then uh, select a donor for you so what all parameters would be matched for this egg donor for profiling this egg donor as a match for the couple so the standard profile usually contains blood group color of hair color of skin color of eyes and the height and the body mass index so these are the usual parameters which are matched and um, apart from that if there are certain particular characteristics that you're looking for then that too can be stated at the time of registration with the ART bank and, and they will try to you know match as many parameters as possible. So a couple can choose an uh, egg donor from a specific religion if they want to? Yes they can, they absolutely can. And also preferences like vegetarian, non-vegetarian and all those? So things. that's a very usual request. Uh, there will be some couples who will say that you know we belong to a, a, a vegetarian family and we would like the donor to be of, of, of similar dietary preference and we usually do that. Most of the ART banks should be able to do that, it should, shouldn't be a major problem. Can a patient meet the egg donor? So if the patient's own relative or friend is the egg donor then yes the patient all does definitely meet the oocyte donor or egg donor but if the egg donor is being recruited by the bank then to maintain confidentiality and anonymity uh, it's the bank's responsibility to ensure that the donor does not know who the recipient is and the recipient does not know who the donor is so when you get the profile of an oocyte donor or an egg donor uh, if you see that profile you'll have various you know parameters which are mentioned in that profile but the identifying variables such as the name the photograph and, and such identifying variables like address will never be mentioned on that donor form. So if the donor is being recruited by the bank, you will not get to know who the donor is in person. You will not be able to meet the donor. So what all tests are done on the egg donor to check the health of the donor? There's a form M1 which has been given in the uh, current ART Act uh, booklet and that has mentioned very clearly as to which investigations are mandatory uh, they have to be performed on the donor before the donor is recruited um, in, in any donor program. So this includes basic investigations like hemoglobin, sugars, liver function tests, kidney function tests and sonographies and all those routine investigations which usually everybody undergoes. Apart from that, uh, there are certain specific tests for infection screens such as HIV, HBSAG, hepatitis, uh, hep HCV or which is known as the hepatitis C virus and syphilis so the this is the infection screen that also has to be done uh, on any donor there's also a test for uh, hemoglobin electrophoresis to rule out hemoglobinopathies like sickle cell disease or thalassemia that also has been listed as a mandatory test to be done on own donor on all donors before they are recruited so uh, do egg donors also undergo genetic or chromosomal tests so genetic and chromosomal tests have not been listed in the list of mandatory investigations but in some cases like say for example if the the recipient husband has a certain genetic disease which may be passed on to the offspring so that particular genetic disease will be tested for in the donor as well so it will be basically customized and on a case-to-case -case basis uh, the genetic tests and the chromosomal tests that are to be advised <laughs>